Aloha, Rich Alverson here. And in this video, I'm gonna help you along with lab 2.14 uh, using math functions. So here we are. And uh, so in this, um, in this problem, we're supposed to read in three numbers, X, Y, and Z. And we're supposed to print out four numbers, one, two, two, three, four. And each of these is the first one. The first one is supposed to be x to the power of z. And the second one should be x to the power of y to the power of z. So first we have to do y to the power of z. The third one is the absolute value of x minus y. And the fourth one is the square root of x to the power of z. Okay, and this is x, and this is y, and this is z. So this is, this is the program. This is what the output looks like with this input. And so let's write, first of all, we're going to use this math module, math functions. That's what this lab is all about. And so let's take a quick peek back over here at the um, math module. And uh, we're going to be using, we're going to be using the, uh, <clears throat> the power, x to, the, x to the power of y. We're going to be using square root. And we're going to be using uh, absolute value. I think that's all we're going to be using. So fabs. Pow and squirt. All right, so let's go back to uh, our math functions. <clears throat> so we're gonna first, first we gotta input x, y, and z. Okay, so I'm gonna say x equals int uh, uh, input, um, x equals input, but we want that to be a floating point number. So we're gonna take that input and I'm gonna put this float around it. Okay, so that's gonna read in X and then we're gonna do this two more times uh, with this being Y and this being, <clears throat> uh, this being Y and this being Z. Okay, so now I've got X, Y, and Z. And then um, we wanna um, make your value one be equal to something. I'm gonna just do it down here. Your value one is gonna be equal to something. Uh, your value two. and uh, your value three and your value four, right? This one, yeah, your value four, this one, got it. Equals something and uh, your value one is gonna be equal to um, X to the power of Z. X to the power of Z. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be, I tell you what, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm a, that's going to be a comment. How do I make a comment again? I think I do a pop a hashtag, right? Do a it's going to be put a hashtag out there. Ooh. Hashtag and comment, just so I know what I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be um, oh, that's um, P O W X comma Z. See. Let's see, can I do, let me do this. I'm gonna do th this and I'm gonna do math module, open in, a, open in a new window. And I'm gonna take this and put this on the left. And I'm gonna take this and put it on the right. And we are looking at these functions here. So uh, x to the y, pow x to the y, that's this one we just used. And that takes care of, um, 
I often wonder what that is. <clears throat> uh, the next one is um, this. This. I don't think it's going to be on this. Copy it and let me put it here. I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to make it so we understand what's going on. X to the power of Y to the power of Z. I want to cut this out and put it here. Hashtag based. And the next one after that is going to be the absolute value of that. And you know, so I'm just going to do hashtag paste. And the last one is going to be the square root of whatever this is. So I'm going to do hashtag paste and get rid of this crap. Okay, so that's so that's that's okay. So the next one here is supposed to be x to the power of y to the power of z. Well, y to the power of z is um, uh, p o w y to the power of z. But that is actually we want to take x to the power of this. So we actually want um, we want uh, x. No, 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 we want P O W X to the power of that. Hey, is that, can you get that? So X to the power of Y to the power of Z. X to the power of Y to the power of Z. Okay, good. This one is the absolute value of X minus Y. So now we're going to use that fabs, that fabs function. Here, fabs. So I want, I want the fabs of something. And what do I want the fabs of? I want x minus y. So I think I can just do x minus y. I think that'll work. It's going to do the x minus y first. Then it's going to take the fabs of that. And the last one is uh, the square root of that's, wait, don't I have to put the word math in front of all these? I think I do. Yes, I have to put the word math in front of all these. Uh, so uh, I got to put the word math, I think. I'm pretty sure I got to put the word It doesn't hurt. You can later try it out without putting it, but you could actually just try one. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we have to do this. Uh, and then the, the last one is going to be math dot uh, square root SQRT parentheses x to the power of z. P O W x to the power of z. And then I have to close the square root. To close. Okay, so this okay, so this is the square root of x to the power of z. The square root of x to the power of z. Okay, and then I then we gotta print this out. And since I called the variables this since that's what I call the variables, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to do anything else. All right. So if we uh, take these inputs, uh, and we uh, put them here, and then we uh, run the program, we get that, and that's what that is. Okay, now, now the one thing that you really, really should test here is whether um, this fabs is working because this doesn't really test the fabs because x minus y is 
x minus y is a positive number anyway. So what you want to test is if it's a, if you end up with a minus number. So how about if you do 1.5, if you do a 1.5 um, here first, and then five, and then you're going to be doing x minus y, and that'll be a negative number. So then doing this, uh, I'm not sure what these are going to be, but the third one, the third one should be uh, all still 3.5. See if it is. Uh, yes, it is. This is the third one. That's weird that that's that's a really big number. Uh, wh what is this number? What's the second one? Oh, uh, y to the power of z. So five to the 3.2 power, that's gonna be some big number. Then you're taking X to the power of that pretty big number, I guess. And so you end up with a quite large number for the second one. Anyway, uh, so so you can uh, fiddle around with that and uh, I think you'll get all the points. Uh, so I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.